Hello, everyone, and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host, Sherry, and on today's Skincare Saturday video, we're taking a break from the face, and we're doing something with the hair. But before I tell you what we are testing today, I need to make sure and remind you guys that if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I am trying to reach the goal of what one of you a while back predicted would happen to the channel, reaching 15,000 subs by, I think, end of March? Well, that's gonna be the goal. End of March, 15,000 subs. We just hit 14,000 on March 1st, so yay us. So, I mean, we all know the ratios. There's like a tiny bit of you that watch the channel that are subscribed, and then a huge bit of you that watch the channel that are not subscribed. So if just half of that huge bit subscribe right now, we might reach our goal. We just need one more thousand subs by the end of March. I don't think it's that hard. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. Also, leave a comment, you know, give a thumbs up, all that stuff that sometimes I forget to remind you of and sometimes you guys forget to do. So if you are enjoying the content on the This Is Real Life channel, please show me the love and subscribe right now. And now that I've said all that, let's get in to what this video is today. We are going to test a hair straightener. Now, I know you guys are like, we've already tested a hair straightener before. I know we have. It was the cordless travel hair straightener, which, mm, I don't know, I wasn't a huge fan of. It didn't give me like the heat that I needed. Yeah, I just wasn't super impressed. And as far as like needing a straightener that is cordless in order to travel, I don't think I'm gonna be like straightening my hair in a car ride. Anywhere I would be that I would need to straighten my hair I think a plug would be there. A hotel bathroom, my own bathroom, a friend's house, even the office. All of those places have plugs. So when the people over at K and K Professional asked if I would test their straightener, I noticed that it had a cord. And I said, yes, I am an avid hair straightener and I would love to test your straightener. As you know, just because the people over at k, &K Professional reached out to me and asked if they could send me this hair straightener does not mean that this video is sponsored by k, &K. This is not an ad for k, &K. They just sent me their hair straightener in hopes that I would test it in a video. And to be quite honest, they were not very happy with the fact that after I received the straightener, I told them when I would be able to get a video out. They emailed me back and were like, can't you get it out any sooner? And I said, no. So we're testing it today. So yeah, not sponsored. So going on to k ks Amazon page, it says this is a 2.25 inch flat iron hair straightener for Therapy Keratin 3D, I don't know, 3D floating ceramic tourmaline coating plate irons for thick hair, damage and frizz free. Okay, the retail price on this hair straightener is $36.99. Nano titanium XXXL plates for greater efficiency. This irons can heat up to 450 Fahrenheit just in 30 seconds, quickly and efficiently. With 360 degree swivel cord, prevents tangling, suitable for both hands. That sounds good to me, so let's open her up. The box says, I don't know how to read my millions or my billions, but it says right here, is that 21 billion plus or 21 million? One, two, three, four, five, six million. Customer's choice worldwide. All right, let's open it. Oh, here we are. Wow, this is like an industrial strength cord if you ask me. So we've got the straightener, we've gotten the directions. Here is our 360 degree rotating cord for tangle freeness. Our straightener is wrapped. Ooh, nice. Here we have all of our temperature controls. It looks like this might be a locking situation because it, it definitely won't open. Ah, yes. So this little rose gold thing here is our lock. We slide it up to lock it closed and then we slide it down to open it up. 
Now, I don't know what this is on the inside of here, but it slides. I don't know what the picture is. Up arrow, the picture, honestly, if I'm being really honest, it looks like a water bottle on its side. Oh, maybe it's the straightener. <laughs> I think it's a picture of this right here with like lines running through it to maybe signify hair. I don't know, I can't make those pictures out. I don't know what down does either. Maybe it's in the directions. Let's look. It literally just says push button. That's what it says. Oh, so there's a straightening mode and a hair care mode. Ooh, okay. Hair straightening mode is if this is in the up position. Down position is hair care mode. Mix your hair with keratin. <laughs> Okay, it says mix your hair with keratin with the hair covered by barbecue paper setting on the flat iron. Okay, let me start again. Mix your hair with keratin, comma, with the hair covered by barbecue paper, comma, setting the flat iron at the lowest temperature. Pull the hair that covered with barbecue paper between the heating plates for a few seconds. Repeat this step on all the hair. The purpose for this iron is to heat the keratin into the hair so it looks more shiny. Continues to use, your hair will look like silk. Okay, so do you do that when it's wet? I don't know, does anybody know? I mean, if I look at the little baby picture, it looks like there are little bubble circles on the illustration of the hair. To me, that means it's wet hair. We'll give it a try. I'm wondering if I wash my hair and then put my Moiri hair treatment on, and then I'm assuming by barbecue paper, maybe they mean parchment paper. Could that work? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So clearly what I need to do is jump in the shower and wash my hair. I'm gonna blow, no, I won't blow dry it. I'm gonna wash my hair, then we'll put the hair mask on. I'll get some parchment paper and we'll test the hair treatment button on this straightener. After that, we'll blow dry it and then I'll actually straighten it. So yay, I'm gonna jump in the shower now. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, hair is washed. I brought in my Moiri hair mask so that we could test this whole heat infused into the hair theory. I also have parchment paper, don't you worry. So let me get it out of my little towel wrap here. Yay, now let's put some hair mask on. Yes, I did buy more because I love it that much. So that much hair mask, gonna go ahead and get it in here. Hold while I flip upside down. Oh, you know what I should go do? I need to go get my brush so that I can brush my hair so that when we put it between the parchment paper, it's all like kind of straight. And then we'll begin the hair therapy. So I brushed my hair and I am ready for hair care mode. Put, it says keratin, but you know, I did my mask. And it says that we're supposed to cover the hair between pieces of barbecue paper or parchment paper. Don't use waxed paper because that has a waxy coating on it and the heat will just melt the wax onto your hair. So don't do that. Use parchment paper if you're gonna do this hair treatment mode. So it does say that we're supposed to plug it in and put it on the lowest temperature. Now, I have my timer because it says it's supposed to heat up in 30 seconds. And this cord is serious. All right, plugging it in. So I'm gonna push my start button on my timer and the lowest temperature setting is 248 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go. That's 410, 450, lowest setting, go. Timer, 30 seconds. I don't know when, it, oh, it is blinking. So I guess when it stops blinking, that means it's at full heat. Oh, damn, that was like 16 seconds, probably 15, because it took me a second. So it's already at the full heat of 248 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are good to go. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe I divide my hair like I would normally if it was dry and I were to straighten it. Okay, great. Let's get some parchment paper. So I'm feeling like we'll fold it like this and put the hair strand in between here. Now the mask doesn't go on my roots. It's just mids and ends. So you can see I've got my hair in there and now we're gonna take our flat iron. How am I supposed to hold this? Like this, glide it along. Parchment paper is like semi-warm, okay. I mean, I don't know. Is it infusing it into my hair? Is it heating it into my hair? I don't know, we'll see how soft it is. This is 
Do we really need the parchment paper? I mean, seriously, this is kind of a pain. Can I just do it without the parchment paper? Am I, am I in it? Yeah. Okay, seriously, it's on a low setting. Can we just do it without the parchment paper? Let's see what happens. Don't do this. I'm a professional. We're just testing it. Do I even have it on? Oh yeah, I do. Good thing. I have my little switch. For a second, I didn't think I had it on hair care mode, but I do. Don't you worry. And I feel like I'm not. Here's the thing. When you close it, can you see the gap? Look, you can see my face. You can see my eye. I think it's because it's on hair care mode. It's not allowing it to close. This little nubbin is like hitting right here. So it's not closing all the way. So I don't think it's like actually touching our hair. It's just giving heat to our hair. So I don't think we're gonna do parchment paper to be quite honest. So let me heat infuse my mask into the rest of my head and then we'll actually blow dry it and straighten it for real. Okay, so mask is totally heat infused into my hair. Just in time for me to rinse it out and blow dry my hair so that we can straighten it for real. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Very nice tune. Now, usually this mask, I try to sleep in it or keep it in as long as possible. But since we've heat infused it into our hair, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna rinse it out. We're gonna blow dry as huge. Okay, so hair is rinsed and dried. And I will say it does feel pretty soft even though I only left the mask on for that short amount of time for me to like heat infuse it. So, I mean, maybe, maybe there is something to that. I mean, I can kind of feel like, yeah, there is something to it because isn't that what like VO5 hot oil treatment is all about? It's like putting the hot oil on your hair, kind of the same thing, right? And it didn't take me that long. So what I really think that I should do for future is every time I put the mask on, which is, just once a week when I wash my hair, heat infuse it, but then sleep in it and then rinse it out the next day. I'm just saying, silky smooth, silky smooth. Okay, but now we gotta straighten this puppy. So I'm gonna plug it back in. It's definitely back to its normal coldness. We're gonna go ahead and move it to straightening mode, sliding this button up. And now when I close it, this little lever thing, goes into this groove so it closes tightly. No gap in between the plates. And I brought in my beloved, my Con Air. Now this is just a one inch and this is a two inch. So we're gonna get a lot more hair straightening done in a quicker amount of time is what I'm hoping. My Con Air one goes up to 410 degrees and I always do it. Ooh. This one goes up to 450, so I think I'm gonna do 410 and 410 because I wanna see who heats up the fastest. Timer! All right, so turning my Con Air on, holding this one. My Con Air one doesn't make a jingle. Bump them both up to 410. Okay, they're both at 410. Starting timer now. 410, they're both blinking. So as soon as we see that blinking stop on one of them, we'll look at the time. It's been 17 seconds, 25 seconds. It's officially 30 seconds. Neither one have gotten to full heat. Blinking is still happening. Keeping my eye on it very closely. Heat, 47 seconds. Still heating up, so not under 30 BT dubs. 47 seconds to get to 410 degrees. Con Air is still trying. A minute and 10 seconds so far on the Con Air. Woo! When you're sitting here just staring at it, it feels like it's taking forever. But normally, I just plug this in, let it heat up while I'm blow drying my hair, and then when I'm done blow drying my hair, it's all heated up and ready to go. But Con Air is still going, still trying to get to that 410 degrees, and we're at a minute and 40 seconds. Meanwhile, K and K, perfectly heated up and ready to go. Con Air is still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Okay, Con Air just got up to the full 410 degrees, and it took Con Air two minutes and 52 seconds to do that, whereas it took 
the K&K straightener, 47 seconds. So yeah, that's pretty fast heat coming from K&K. Now that it's fully heated up, let's get to straightening. You guys have seen me straighten my hair lots, I'm sure. I am only gonna do one pass per hair section. With these bigger 2.24 inch plates, hopefully we should be able to straighten our hair a little bit faster. And now that my hair's like so long and luxurious, using that little one inch one does take some time, especially when I do two passes on it. So I'm actually gonna time myself and we're gonna get to straightening. Okay, yay, that took me six minutes and 47 seconds to straighten my entire head of hair. And I wasn't like trying to go fast, I was just doing my normal rate of hair straightening. And I think it's just because I didn't do two passes on some of the sections of hair. So yeah, what do we think? I mean, I think it did good. Look at that. Ooh, oh, how do they do it? You know, luxurious luxurious. So yeah, I like it. Now, upon closer inspection, I do think I need to two pass my front pieces, like the top fronts here. You see it? You see it right there? Like whereas this hair is like really straight. So let's put another pass on that. Ah, much better. Much better indeed. Now, I did not go up to the full 450 degrees that this flat iron has because my hair is used to just doing it at 410. Oh my gosh, look at it. It looks so good. So yeah, I like that it has bigger plates. I also kind of am digging the whole hair care mode. Now, I don't know how often I'll do it, but it does make sense to like infuse your hair treatment into your hair with heat and it doesn't take that long. It might be something that I do do, I said do do, when I put that mask on because yeah, I mean, look at it. All right, let's turn her off. Very cute and go over my final thoughts. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this K&K flat iron is on their Amazon page for $36.99. It also says here, it auto shuts off in 60 minutes, which I think is really great because I can't tell you how many times I left the house in a rush after straightening my hair and thought to myself, did I turn off my flat iron? I don't know. And then I've had to come back only to see that I've turned it off. Now I know, considering that this has a 60 minute shut off, it's going to automatically turn itself off whether I do or I don't. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if my Conair one has that feature because I've had that Conair one for a million years. And it does a fine job, but I think I'm gonna put the Conair one in this bathroom for guests who might need to straighten their hair or that can turn into my travel straightener. And this one I think is gonna be my everyday straightener because 47 seconds to heat up to the temperature I like and like seven minutes to straighten my entire head of hair, I'm all about it. And again, I don't know what flat irons are going for. Let's look. Sally Beauty has a titanium flat iron. Now, does this one say titanium? 3D floating panels with titanium plate covered with a layer of ceramic. Okay. Sally Beauty, $49.99. Alta Beauty has one, $159.99. Holy Toledo. Let's go to like generic. Target has a Hot Tools Pro Signature Ceramic Hair Straightener for $59.99. Conair Infinity Solid Ceramic 2-inch Hair Straightener at the Kohl's for $52.49. Now, Target does have a Remington 2-inch Shine Therapy Hair Straightener for $29.99. So, that's pretty inexpensive. Amazon has a Conair 2-inch Infinity Pro for $35.58. 
So yeah, I honestly don't think $36.99 is a bad price for this. I don't, I don't at all. And it did everything that it said it was gonna do. And to be quite honest, I'm kind of feeling that I like the hair care mode. You know, I'm very into hair care these days and I kind of dig that little mode where you flip that switch and it doesn't clamp shut and it gives just a little gap so that you can just heat that treatment into your hair. I think it's pretty cool. Thanks k, &K for sending it to me. I kind of dig it. And if you guys kind of dig it, I'll leave their Amazon link in the description box below. So yeah, there you have it and there it is. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget about our goal. So everybody, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also remember to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out.